What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in W900 Kenworth. Nothing special about it. Uh, following my last game where I crashed, uh, the game crashed, so I wasn't able to finish up backing up that truck. So I took out a bunch of mods. Um, we'll see how it goes in this one. I'm still running with, hold on, let me see. I'm still running uh, automatic. Still running with her. Keep calm and truck on. I'm actually out of work for a few days. Um, my fiance about four days ago got tested for COVID, she was negative, and then the fo the next day, so three days ago, got tested again because she was feeling even worse and uh, ended up having COVID. <clears throat> I have like a cough here and there. Uh, I think we're missing a road texture right there. Yes. Um, I have like a cough here and there and a little bit of a sore throat, but it's the symptoms have gone away, um, but my work wants a negative test before I can... There's another missing road texture. Weird. That wasn't like that when I pulled in. But my work wants a negative result before I can go back to work. And I went and had a test this morning, uh, which is Monday morning. But they're not going to have any results for three to four days, so called my work and they told me that they want the negative result before I can go back to work so I may be looking at being out this whole week I may just work Thursday night uh, depending on when it comes back or if I'm negative uh, <clears throat> I said I don't have any besides like a sore throat like an itchy throat curb. Um, an itchy throat and a cough here and there. A uh, little bit of a runny nose, but that could just be the uh, my allergies. But I did switch from allergy medicine to Alka-Seltzer, cold and flu and whatever. Um, my fiance does feel worse than I do. She has the... She doesn't have a fever though. She has like... Uh, really bad sinus pressure, uh, muscle fatigue, weakness, stuff like that. I have weakness, but then again, it could just be from work. Uh, I need to get in the other lane if this is going to be like a highway. So we are in St. George, Utah. We're going to Provo, Utah, which I don't think is very far away. Oh, it's pretty far away, 486 miles. Didn't seem that far away on the, on the map. since I'm going to be off for a few days I figure why not record a little bit I know my voice sounds like I'm a lot worse than I am as soon as I start recording my voice goes goes away I gotta make a left turn up here Keep left. those tires aren't spinning
fifty yards. Turn right. Turn right. I got a lot of mods, but like a lot of mods that have to do with traffic. Because I looked at the game log after. Oh, look at that hill up there. Interesting. I looked up uh, after I crashed, and it seemed to be a traffic mod of some sort. So I took out all my traffic mods, even all the truck traffic. So it's all stock right now, besides the police cars. fixed it, or I thought I fixed it for the last version. Oh, we're going. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. What an interesting little offering. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this road. But I'm going straight. Turn left. Make really great again? That's funny.
having us take a bunch of little roads. Which I think that's what I have it on, but it shouldn't make us get off of an exit and then get right back on. Check real quick. Uh, gameplay. Yeah, see, instead of going left, it's having us go straight now. So I've been working here for probably a little over a month and I've gotten, what is this guy doing? I've gotten at least three new pairs of shoes since then. Only because the shoes I've been wearing are just super, they feel like they're super tight. Um, on the upper half, like where the Turn tongue left. would be. came on and it felt super hot so I turned the fan on um, so like where the tongue is on the shoe it felt like super tight there and I think I mean I think it just has to do with diabetes and feet starting to swell and so I had bought a pair of shoes for work specifically for work and then So I went and bought some like sketchers or something that I thought were comfortable at the time. I wore them for like two days and then I got and then they just got super like tight on my foot. So then I ended up wearing like my regular shoes that I wear that I would wear when I'm not working. And then I bought some other, like, almost like a running shoe or a walking shoe. And those were comfortable for a few days. Probably about a week. And then I went back to my regular shoes. My going out shoes, I guess. I mean, not my going out shoes, but when, I want, when I'm not working shoes. And then, hey, look, a bunch of school buses. Um, After last week I went and bought right. some 
different shoes and they're like extra wide and super loose and hopefully those will, right now they're super loose but it's only because I haven't worked since uh, today's Monday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday like three and a half days I know we're going yards, turn right. I feel like we're going everywhere right now in this game right. like it was on small roads and I switched it to best route and it's just taking us back the same way we just came to get back to the highway this trailer does not want to follow us very well oh you see that how did that go from 400 and something miles to 195 miles. That's crazy. All from going from small roads to the best route. That's interesting. So yeah, right now they, they the shoes that I bought, they're like some Skechers. There weren't as expensive as the last couple pairs of shoes I've had. Like, shoes are pretty expensive right now. Like, a hundred bucks going backwards. Oops. But I got these for like 50 bucks. There's no shoelaces that you have to tie. Which are kind of like the ones I wanted for work. So my, my feet are swollen currently, but once I get back to work, they will get back to being swollen again, unfortunately. And then I could, once, I, once my insurance kicks in next month, which is in a, like two weeks or so, I'll be able to see a doctor and they'll be able to tell me <clears throat> if I can even do this type of work. Unfortunately, uh, they did tell me when I was in California that I wouldn't be able to do the type of work I was doing previous, which was night nighttime stalking, daytime stalking, um, just like being on your feet constantly because it's not good for a diabetic. So, I mean, and I know that, and I know that's what they said. Um, but I just wanted to get a job and I wanted to get some work history going on here. Hopefully I can keep this job until uh, our wedding and then possibly look into something else. I mean, it's good money. It's just the hours suck and I don't get to see my fiance as often. Um, I know she got sick I mean you guys know she got sick with COVID because I just told you that but um, I was able to be there for her and get her food and medicine and make sure she had everything she needed because she's always there for me when I'm sick so I thought I'd help her out as well. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do when you, when you have somebody. Or at least that's how I do it. We were trying to get a... Trying to do all the wedding stuff. Uh, for a cake because it's coming up on in two days it's going to be a hundred days until the wedding so we got to get on some of these things we we're supposed to meet uh, the person that's going to marry us uh, this past Saturday but we were both sick so we didn't we canceled that appointment and there's so many people out here that are willing to help 
in situations like, or not help, but like there's your standard bakeries. I mean, I'm sure every city's like this where you go on Facebook and you say, I need a cake made for a wedding to feed a hundred people or 150 people, however many people you have. Uh, like we looked at some bakeries and they're like four seven four dollars and seventy five cents a pe uh, a person for each slice or whatever four seventy four dollars and seventy five cents a slice <clears throat> and then we talked to some other bakeries smaller bakeries and they're like a dollar less and then we talked to some Facebook person and it's like two bucks a slice which is more manageable for uh, the wedding that we're going for we're not going for something super big and crazy um, we want it to fit within our budget and not have to spend an arm and a leg for a cake that besides doing that whole cake thing feed each other some cake. <laughs> Nobody really eats cake at weddings. Or at least at the weddings I've been to this year and last year. So, I don't know. We kind of feel like we roughly have like 150 people, but maybe less than 100 people are going to eat cake. I don't know. We just don't want to go home with a whole bunch of cake that no one's going to touch and that we're going to spend like four to five hundred bucks on. Well, I think it's going to be less than that. I think it's like 300 plus design is what we're looking at right now. Plus she wants a cake bar. It's almost what you think it would be. Like just a bunch of cupcakes and cake pops and a bunch of things that are at a bar and you go up and you take what you want pretty much I mean if it was up to me it, there would be no cake bar but I got I got her and making her happy if she wants a cake bar well by golly she gets a cake bar I just don't think there's going to be a lot of people eating from the said cake bar. Unless that's all there is. Because we don't really have, like, between the intermission, like, between the, the, the ceremony and the reception, we're really not going to have, like, snacks and stuff besides drinks. Unless we come up with something in the next until the wedding I don't know what we're going to come up with but I've been to a few weddings and usually they have some type of food I don't know I've never done a wedding before so I don't know what I'm... I've been to a lot of weddings but not a lot but I've been to a few weddings I think some weddings had like some hors d'oeuvres or whatever they're called appetizers pretty much and somebody just had alcohol I don't know I don't know what we're going to do but like I said before we're not looking at spending a whole lot of money I think most of the money most of the budget's going towards the actual place we're getting married at that's like more than half of what, of our budget. And then the food and the DJ, that's like another 2,000. It's just, I don't know. Had it been in California, I probably would have had a DJ friend that would have done it for a lot cheaper. There's something down there that's a dealership. Yeah, I think that is. Although we can't see it. I didn't, I didn't 
didn't see that what it was called I had to break my settings down a little bit like I said my settings are for the last version of the game 1.42 I feel like, I mean, it's good for people that play the game, but the games are becoming more graphically enhanced or whatever. Keep right after 50 yards, exit right ahead. Nine miles. Exit We're finally ahead. here. As I'm talking right now, my voice is starting to hurt a little bit. My nose is starting to run. <clears throat> Keep left. Turning into the Lennar Len uh, something. Turning in right here, or returning in over there. Hold on, let me see. It's the back one. Or is it this one? There's a road ends right here. No, I think we're supposed to go into that one. Yes. Okay. Traffic. You have reached your destination. this corner now that I jackknifed it so much. I will be fine. So where does it want it at? Backed into this area over here somewhere. Next to the forklift, of course. too far back already. Uh. Can't see nothing. I don't know where to go where I'm going. But we're about to hit the tree. <clears throat> the forklift. I 
like you're gonna end up in the same exact spot. Concentration. Hey, that's pretty good right there. Let's drop it off. Excellent Rock Bucket Volvo SPN PT SEG. Basically a bucket <laughs> delivered from St. George to Provo, Utah. Uh, 264 miles. 5 hours, 40 minutes, 43 point. 43 gallons exactly consumed. <clears throat> Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out.